Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I slay my brows. I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do a brow tutorial, so I thought I would just get that done today and share with you guys how I do it. Oh, and also, I did film this makeup look, just in case any of you guys are wondering. I'm kind of filming them both at the same time, but I wanted to split up the videos because if I show you guys the brow tutorial together with this makeup tutorial, the video would just be too long, so I wanted to split them up. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the brow in this tutorial and the next tutorial that you guys see will be on the makeup look so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see how I slay my brows please keep watching okay so I'm gonna just zoom you guys in a little closer Okay, so these are my brows without being filled in. You can tell I have some sparse areas here and here, even up here. My tail isn't as long as I would like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill that in. So for this, I'm gonna be using two products today. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. And there it is there. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just a soft brown color. Okay, and the second product that we're gonna use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. This is in the color Caramel. It looks like this. This is really gonna help lighten my brows. My brow hairs are pretty much black and my hair is blonde. I mean, these roots don't lie, but we're gonna get that fixed. But my hair is blonde and I really want my brows to kind of flow with my hair a little bit better because for me to have like harsh, black brows and then blonde hair. It just doesn't really go. So when doing your brows, if your natural hair color is really dark and then the hair color that you have is lighter, you definitely wanna lighten up the brows so that way they flow a little bit better with your hair color. Okay, and as far as a brow brush, I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brow brush. It looks like this. It's got an angled side right here. It's very small and thin and really easy to work with, especially when you're using dip brow pomades. And then there is the spoolie side, which is also very nice and convenient because then you can go ahead and brush out the hairs, brush out the pomade to blend everything together. And I really like using this brush. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and just brush out the brows. Okay, so what I like to do is brush the inner third of my brow just straight upward. And then starting halfway through all the way out, I like to brush it upward, but out. So just like this. That way it gives my brows a little bit more of a fuller effect. And then I'll go ahead and take that spoolie and then I'll just run it through the edges so that way they meet evenly. Just like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the dip brow pomade and the brush and I'm going to run it through on both sides. And then I like to take the cap of the dip brow pomade and just take off the excess. So that way there's not too much product on that brush. Then it also flattens out that tip as well. All right, now for the fun part. Okay, so what I like to do is just start off with the lower line of my brow, carve that out, and then I'll go ahead and carve out the arch and the tail of my brow. I like to use small strokes because that's really going to help us get a line that's not super harsh. So then I'll just go ahead and just keep running my brush along that cap, just picking up some of that excess product that we placed on there. When it comes to the tail of my brow, I like to extend it quite a bit because I don't have a very long tail and I don't feel like that fits my eye shape very well. So I like to extend it quite a bit just so it fits my eye shape a little bit better. I also like to add more pressure to this area because since it's so sparse and since I'm creating a tail for myself, you want it to be a little bit more opaque than the rest of the brows. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do feather strokes, filling in the actual brow. In my sparse areas, I'm going to be adding more product and also using a little bit more pressure, just so it's more opaque in those areas. So it doesn't look as sparse. Okay, so now when it comes to the inner part of my brow, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip that brush this way to where it's vertical. I'm going to be just using a flicking motion to mimic brow hairs, but I'm going to be flicking downwards. And then I'm gonna move and then flip it the other way 
to where the shortest part of the angle is right here. And then I'm going to use that and flick upwards. And that's going to help us mimic brow hairs in the front. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take that spoolie side and I'm going to brush out the brows a little bit, especially right here in the front because I want this to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my brows. I kind of want it to gradient a little bit, but not too intensely. Okay, so I did the other brow and now what I'm going to do is just set the brows and that's when that Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow or tinted brow, tinted brow, tinted brow gel comes in. Um, this again is in the color caramel and it's just gonna help set my brows, keep them in place, but then also lighten them so that way they're not so dark and harsh against my hair color. So we're just gonna run it upwards. Pretty much the same way that we brushed our hair earlier with the spoolie, we're just gonna do the same with this brow gel. Cause we wanna keep them in that same place. Okay, you can see the difference between this brow and this brow. This one's much lighter and then this one's darker. All right, so now that we've set our brows, we're just gonna go ahead and clean them up with some concealer. I pretty much just use any concealer that I have on hand. I prefer to use ones with a wand, like this one right here. It has a nice little wand to it, um, just cause it's easier to just pop right on there. Um, or you could just use any concealer at all or just anything that you're going to be priming your eyes with for eyeshadow, like an eyeshadow base, you can use that too. Today we're just gonna go ahead and use some concealer. I'm just gonna use this one by Maybelline, it's the Better Skin. Any concealer works, you're just gonna use it to clean it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right underneath there and underneath here. And then I'm just gonna take a concealer brush. This one's by Sonia Kashuk, it's the number 110. You can use any concealer brush though. I don't have to use anything super particular. Just something flat, basically. <laughs> and we're just gonna go ahead and brush that out a little bit, just so it's not so opaque. And then we're gonna carve out the lower part of our brow first. brush that out so we have no harsh edges going on and then what I like to do is just carve out the arch and the rest of that tail on the top I don't carve out this part because I do want my brows to look somewhat natural obviously not super natural but just somewhat natural so I'll leave this portion of the top alone and I'll just go ahead and carve out the arch and then the tail this is also going to help highlight that arch to lift that arch up a little bit as well And voila, there you have it with the brows. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will show you guys the final result, which I mean, you're basically seeing, but I'll show you it with a full face. <laughs> okay, so that's it. These are my brows with all my makeup done. I really hope you guys liked the video and found it informative. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, especially Snapchat, because you get to kind of see like another side to me that you don't really see on here or on Instagram. I also open packages and do like swatches and tell you guys some of my faves um, on their too so definitely follow me on snapchat it's just model crystal a i will leave that down below as well feel free to share this video with anyone that you know that's maybe having a hard time with their brows wants to know how to slay them or just do them um and yeah i think that's it thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i really hope to see you in my next video bye brighten or lighten brighten and the next product that i <laughs>